Thank you, Madam Speaker. I'm going to ask the, the member a question about Schedule 1 to the present uh, proposed bill. And here, uh, uh, when I speak about the riding of Essex, we really have some really great employers in the riding of Essex, in the uh, greenhouse industry, in the vegetable growing industry, and they're so great that the employees, the international agricultural workers, come and work for the same employers year after year, decade after decade, and even generation after generation. That's how great the greenhouse industry is in the riding of Essex. But as we all know, in every barrel, there's you no know, one or two bad apples. Uh, so in, in, the, uh, in the event that there is a bad apple who tries to take away somebody's passport, what does Schedule 1 do to protect those workers? Back to the member for response. Well, I thank the uh, member for the question and being able to build on the previous question from the great member from Burlington. I, I appreciate that opportunity. And um, this, is, uh, this is a real challenge. Um, for, for too many people out there and to think of uh, an employer holding a person's passport um, uh, work permits that's uh, fairly deplorable uh, obviously it is deplorable uh, actions on behalf of those individuals and uh, our government has looked at uh, trying to remedy that by again increasing the punishments increasing the fines uh, if the if it is a corporation uh, they would be liable to a fine of not more than one million dollars and if it is an individual uh, to uh, to an amount of not more than five hundred thousand dollars and that also includes or to a period of imprisonment of not more than 12 months and uh, that, that that punishment of course can be both so you could you can go to jail for a year and you can be fined half a million dollars that is a pretty significant punishment and when we in the legal world use terms like general deterrence I think that is a very strong general deterrent uh, for employers who behave in that fashion to recognize that they can't and if they do the the punishment is is a severe one and um, I think it's a very very strong reason to look at passing legislation like this uh, so that we can really protect uh, those individuals um, uh, who are very vulnerable to their employers when they may hold their passport, take their passport, and uh, not be able to uh, have and not return it to them. And that is just uh, the type of action that, um, again, is Response. how we work for workers and we're protecting workers and um, and standing up for the little guy in this province. Further questions.